What's up guys, welcome to Ty's Crypto Help. In this video, we're gonna be answering the question, what is cryptocurrency? What is Bitcoin and Ethereum and Litecoin and all those altcoins? What is that stuff? How does it work? Uh, why are people using it? Why would you even use cryptocurrency? What, like, how, like, I'm gonna explain it in this video for you. If you don't know, this is the video you should watch. I'm gonna explain it in basic uh, terms. I'm not gonna get super into detail because you definitely can. If you wanna watch that video, go watch somebody else's because it's not gonna be in this video. I'm just gonna explain it in basic terms because uh, honestly, I don't know all the details of it. It's pretty confusing, but uh, I want people who don't know about cryptocurrency to know about it. It's kind of funny. I just sold a PlayStation uh, and I was like, I'm only taking crypto. And everybody kept messaging me, like a bunch of people through Snapchat and stuff were like, oh, I'll give you 150 bucks, I'll give you 200 bucks, you're 300. Uh, and then when I'd message them back, they'd be like, oh yeah, okay. And I was like, you're paying in crypto, right? And they're like, wait, what's crypto? And I was just like, and I got so many people saying that. I was just like, what? How, how do people not know what cryptocurrency is? Or at least have some idea. But it's still that new. Like, there's still so many people that have never even heard of it. They may have heard Bitcoin, but they've never looked into it or know anything about it or how it works. Uh, so, yeah. Enough of that. Let's get on the video and explain exactly what it is. Uh, so, Bitcoin and crypto is... There's a ton, tons of them, obviously. There's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoin... Uh, chain coin, there's crave coin, there's XVG, there's uh, ant shares, there's like tons of them, tons and tons. And all coins are pretty much like uh, describing like all the coins that uh, aren't like the main coins, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin are pretty much the main three. Uh, that's where you're going to find pretty much on every exchange. Uh, and the reason I say exchange is because Bitcoin is something that can be traded. Uh, and it goes up and down. There's like the price of Bitcoin does not stay the same. I think that's like the hopefully the end goal of Bitcoin is to kind of like stable out and and not be like crazy and volatile and bouncing up and down. Uh, but yeah, it does go up and down along with all the other coins like uh, Ethereum that goes up and down. Each coin goes up and down. So people will trade Bitcoin. They'll buy Bitcoin at a low price and then when it goes up, they'll buy out uh, and they'll make money on that. They'll basically like flip their money. But at the same time, Instead of going up, it can go down, so you can lose your money too. So it's not always uh, a good thing to be trading cryptocurrency, but uh, that's, that's that's what makes people kind of scared about it is that the price goes up and down. Uh, but what's cool about Bitcoin is it's decentralized, or just any crypto is decentralized. Uh, and what that means is it's on your computer, it's on your device, your iPhone, or your laptop, or your desktop, or wherever you want it. Uh, you can have it in your wallet, uh, which is connected directly to that device. Uh, and that means it's decentralized. There's no bank or company or entity or anything controlling your money. You, If you want to have your money, you have it on your phone. And if you want to send it to somebody else, you send it directly to their phone. There's no third party. Uh, it goes through the Bitcoin network or whatever crypto you're using to, to send money and 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 use uh, it goes through the network and then goes to the other person there are transaction fees though but way smaller than like PayPal or your bank or wire transferring or pretty much everything Bitcoin transactions and crypto transactions are super super cheap uh, now where does that money go where does those transactions go uh, they go to a thing called miners uh, there's people who mine cryptocurrency and basically what that is is you're letting your computer uh, you're letting the Bitcoin network use your computer uh, to process transactions. It's doing that by like solving math problems, uh, which are algorithms, which is kind of how uh, Bitcoin is super secure because everything is like a math problem. Uh, Bitcoin has like a ledger too. It's like every everything on Bitcoin that's ever happened is like in it, it, everybody has that. The whole ledger of everything that's ever happened, every transaction that's taken place. Uh, but yeah. That's, that's another reason why it makes it amazing. But people who are mining for Bitcoin are, yeah, like letting them use your, their computer uh, for the Bitcoin network to process transactions. And most of those people have really powerful computers. The more powerful the computer, the better it's going to mine uh, because you have, you're having more computer power. So you're letting the network uh, be stronger and process more or actually solve more algorithms so it can process more transactions. So people who are mining actually make money from Bitcoin. Uh, when they're mining, they actually get a little bit of Bitcoin back here and there. Uh, it's just small little pieces, but it adds up. Obviously, if you had like a whole facility, which there are companies that do this, there's companies who have warehouses of just computers on computers on computers, which are actually referred to as rigs, uh, mining rigs. Uh, and they're pretty much just sitting there mining cryptocurrency, creating cryptocurrency by processing transactions for the cryptocurrency. So it's kind of amazing. It, it works 
for the people and by the people. The people are who control it, uh, who make the price go up and down. If people are into Bitcoin and buying it a lot, the price goes up. If people are scared about Bitcoin and don't want to be in it, they they sell and the price goes down. So it's kind of amazing in that regard. Also kind of scary and really new and uh, a lot of people don't understand it for that reason because it's it's just so new. Uh, but I think now is the time you should learn about it. Don't just watch this video. Go watch other videos. There's going to be people that explain it uh, way better than me. Uh, but I just think what makes it amazing is that it's decentralized. There's nobody that controls it. Like there's no website that you can go to where you can like move your Bitcoin around. Uh, nobody can delete Bitcoin. Like I said, there's a ledger of Bitcoin on every, everybody has that ledger of everything that's happened. And I've heard somebody else explain it like this. I don't know if it's 100% like this. Uh, pretty much the only way we could ever wipe out Bitcoin and all the cryptos is if you like destroyed every computer ever. Uh, like if we had a solar flare, it would pretty much be the only way. Like if you left one copy of Bitcoin laying around on one machine, uh, somebody could start Bitcoin back up and it would be right where it started. Because uh, the whole transaction log is right there. Obviously, all those like devices and stuff would be destroyed, so the money would kind of be lost, I guess. But uh, I don't know. It's amazing. Uh, Bitcoin and crypto has had my interest for the last little bit. Uh, I'm, I maybe I'll eventually tell my story of like how I almost bought crypto like five or six years ago, and I'd probably be rich right now. If you guys want to see that video, leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, but yeah. That's a, a basic explanation of what crypto is. Uh, you can trade your money uh, on exchanges. Uh, you can do mining uh, and earn money that way and help out the network uh, for it to exist. Uh, and yes, there are people that do bad stuff with crypto. If you've heard people talk about it, uh, like they don't really know a lot, they'll say, oh, I've heard, yeah, Bitcoin, the price, it goes down a lot or it's going down or it's losing value or oh there's a lot of legal stuff going on with that right like people steal and hack that stuff right a lot of a lot of money has been sold through bitcoin well yes and no but and compare that to regular money people do bad stuff with regular money too it's just that bitcoin kind of makes it easier uh to do that kind of stuff uh, it doesn't mean that's what it's for it's not for illegal stuff people are going to do bad stuff with it just like they do bad stuff with anything else it's not the currency's fault uh, and it's kind of weird because cryptocurrency isn't really considered currency. It's not like, I think legally it's not money. Uh, like it, it, the same laws don't apply. I don't know exactly how the laws apply to Bitcoin and crypto. Uh, and I know that's like quickly evolving because they're kind of having to, because uh, it's just getting so big and it's so new and un, like people don't understand it. Uh, and yeah, our laws kind of don't go along with how that's working so it's it's gonna be interesting over the next few years just to see bitcoin and cryptocurrencies like uh, where they're gonna be headed and what's gonna happen with it and what restrictions and control they're gonna try to put on it uh, even though you kind of really can't you can tell people to stop using bitcoin and try to stop them but i don't know if you really could i feel like bitcoin is kind of unstoppable at this point like you couldn't you couldn't shut it down you couldn't make it end uh, it's pretty much here to stay until everybody uh, decides that it doesn't have value because that's what gives value like, that's what gives currency value is us deciding it has value the paper dollar like the US dollar or whatever uh, currency you have there's not really like anything backing it it's just an idea if everybody decided today the crypto or that the regular money was not uh, like worth anything then it's not if, if nobody takes it and nobody's like all right that's worth something then it's not worth anything but if everybody's like Bitcoin is worth everything i need that i need those bits of information it's weird because it's just information it's just bits on a computer uh, it's not like physical things and i think that's why people find it weird you can't hold bitcoin in your hand uh you can't count it in your hand and feel it and and literally know it's there it's literally just a number uh, on a screen so yeah, that's pretty much an explanation of Bitcoin. Uh, also, if you want to, you can leave comments down below because I didn't explain everything. I didn't explain the blockchain really at all. I don't think the only thing I mentioned that word. Blockchain is something you should learn about. Uh, just go learn more about it. That's what I encourage you to do. That's a basic explanation because again, so many people are like, what is cryptocurrency? There you go. There's a super layman's explanation of it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more cryptocurrency videos and tips and trading and whatever else I'm going to do on here. Uh, Ty's Crypto Help, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.